I came here to do big stuff. I came here to build a city. I came here to change a city. I came here to pull a city up by its bootstraps from that recession that had knocked us flat. I got up every day to try and make sure that I left this city in better shape than it was given to me. And, and hopefully when history judges my time here, um, they will say that that is exactly what I did. That is Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn reflecting on his eight years in office. His time leading the city into a new dimension is ending as tomorrow voters will choose a new mayor. It's been a great run and joining us live in studio this morning is Mayor Bob Buckhorn. Welcome. Thank you so much for yeah. coming in. It's good to be here nice and early. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we know tomorrow big day election day. A lot of folks looking at the you know the mayor's seat. What will this candidate have to do in their first 100 days in office? What's the big deal? Well I think first and foremost they have to get their feet underneath them. I need to step off the stage, step out of the spotlight, let the next mayor sort of of get the feel of the office and the weight and responsibility that comes with it. Um, I think mo foremost, they need to continue this momentum. I mean, this city is a different city than what oh, it yeah. was eight years ago, a different city than what you grew up in. Oh, yeah. It's a city that has completely transformed its economic DNA, and, and it's become a place where young people are flocking and jobs are being created. So for the next mayor, the narrative has already been set. Uh, they don't need to tinker with that. They just need to keep this momentum and, and help us write our next chapter. You know, I, I think it's so cool that you keep a picture of uh, cigar workers mm -hmm. in the factories in your office. I know my grandmother mm -hmm. was one of those cigar workers. And you talk about the city and its transformation. It's so incredible as a native to sit back mm -hmm. and watch what has happened in the past eight years. But I'm sure along the way, with all the incredible things, there have been some challenges for you. What would you say was one of your greatest? I think clearly navigating the recession. I mean, the recession was the worst recession since the Great Depression. The day I took office in 2011, on April 1st, we were $30 million in, the, in black, or in the red. That wasn't Mayor Iorio's fault. That was just the recession and its impact. Right. So for eight years, I did not have a budget that started out in the positive. And so we had to navigate through all of that. And yet, at the same time, we continued to do some of the things that you saw, some of the things that everyone has witnessed. Um, to the point now where not only have we come out of that recession, but we are one of the hottest real estate markets in America. And we are a place yeah. that every corporate relocation is talking about as a potential site. Yeah. We're right behind Orlando as far as real estate markets, of where you should invest your money. Well, and we've seen so many different things accomplished during your tenure. What would you say would be the biggest accomplishment that you like to look back on? I think what you look at every day across the river. I mean, I think the f completion of that river walk, which was six mayors and 40 years in the making, mm -hmm. beginning with Mayor Billy Poe, who was probably the mayor when, not yeah. quite when you were growing up, because you're much younger than that since you're only 30. Right, um, thank you, Mayor. <laughs> See? And that's why I'm the, the mayor. Story. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, the Riverwalk has transformed our city and has opened up our city to the potential and the possibilities of the river. Now you see private capital being deployed all around the Riverwalk. Companies are wanting to be close to it. People are coming down here, long-time Tampanians. Yes, <laughs> or, yes, that's how I say it. <laughs> who, had written, who had written the river right. walk off and right. are now coming back here and bringing their kids here and bringing their visitors. And we get to see it every day. You it's see it every so day. Beautiful. You know what else, and I know you and I have talked about this a lot over the years, is that we've always wanted Tampa to be a place where our kids would want to move back to. And I feel like I, I heard my 19-year-old on the phone say, I wonder how I'm going to acclimate back to Florida weather when I graduate here in Boston. I'm like, well, she's talking about coming yeah, home, and that's all I want to hear. Well, it, you will remember 10 years ago when we were a donor city to places like Charlotte and Atlanta right. and Austin, Texas. All of our intellectual capital, our kids, our best and brightest assets, were moving to other cities because there was no hope here. Mm -hmm. Now we have become that destination. And not only are our kids coming home, they are bringing their friends with them. Right. It, the transformation has been magical. Really quick, <clears throat> really quick answer. What's next? Um, I was going to break up the all-woman cabal here at yeah, Channel yeah, 8. Yeah. I, I was going to say, I can see this. <laughs> and I'm going to take this seat <laughs> as the only guy here, and I'll try and survive in this, <laughs> this snake pit of <laughs> women. Well, you know what? i got to tell you. to be around them. Sitting, nice. sitting here at this job and watching you uh, be the mayor and run this city, it's been, really been an honor. So it's been great reporting on all the exciting things that you've brought to Tampa. Well, and just for the record, come next Wednesday, they're going to pry my cold, dead fingers off that. <laughs> Yes. They'll need to. Yeah, I, I, I have loved this job. I have loved the opportunity to serve, and I will be forever grateful. All right, All right. thank you, We're Mayor. We're grateful for you. Thank yeah. you, Mayor. You bet.